Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. What an honor it is for us this morning to be joined by two racing legends. Yeah, We've this got the king himself <laughs> with us this morning. Uh, king Richard Petty is here with us. And the Cuban Missile, Eric Amarola, is also joining us this morning. And this is an honor. Yeah, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, how about this? Right. Thanks for got having Got a good guys. crew here today. Good to see oh, you. Oh, I didn't even notice the yeah, they've all gathered. Behind us. It's funny. Everybody coming over to Just see so you. you guys know, there's been nobody out here to see us all day, but you yeah. two show up, <laughs> and, and my gosh, we all of a sudden, sudden have a crowd. crowd. <laughs> what do you think, coming back here to Daytona every year? Do it now. I said, uh, what's it like for you to come yeah. back here to Daytona every year? It, it's really a big deal. I mean, this this is our Super Bowl. This is our Super Race all year. Uh, it, we've been coming – well, we used to come to the beach, and it wasn't quite that big a deal. <laughs> but once they come to the Super Speedway, then uh, it got to be the place, the time. Uh, the year, every, everything is just uh, it's a perfect storm. Okay, been uh, three months since we've been racing. Uh, the spectators hadn't seen us. Uh, we're all been cooped up. We want to go to the race. So Daytona just uh, it's just a perfect place for, uh, and, it, and it just makes you feel like, okay, guys, we're getting ready for another season, and uh, we got to go do it. It is exciting. It certainly is. Eric, let's talk a little bit about some of the things leading up to the big race. Obviously, one of the big concerns, we were just talking to Justin Allgaier about it, is the crash yesterday involving Kyle Busch. Uh, the wall, we talked to Joey Chitwood earlier this morning as well, and he said, look, we're going to get this fixed, boom, right away. What were your thoughts when you saw that happen? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's just amazing that uh, over the years we've continued to uh, find new places to crash <laughs> that's uh, i mean that's really the moral of the story yeah. is there's there's not a single spot on any racetrack that we can't crash <laughs> uh, we, we, we figured that out over the years <laughs> so um so the racetracks are, are going to hopefully continue to do a better and better job at making uh, the track safer and making the walls safer with the safer bears and um, I think that that was a big eye opener for everybody yesterday uh to realize that somewhere a thousand yards from the racetrack yep. Uh, you know, right before you get to turn one that you can hit on the inside wall. Um, and that just goes to show you, um, you know, that, that we can wreck anywhere. So uh, just excited about today. And I know Joey will uh, fix the racetrack the way it needs to be fixed. Yeah, how far do you go for safety? Because a couple of years ago we had the fence <coughs> issue. Now you're talking about buffers on the walls. Uh, you know, some people are saying they don't want it to become where you're just racing in styrofoam. <laughs> do you, do you yeah. take it that far to protect for, against every possible crash? Well, you you like you like wearing a seatbelt and having a uh, having an airbag in your car, right? Right. Okay. So, we uh, we need to do everything we can. I mean, the, we all uh, we all realize that there's a sense of uh, danger in racing, but at the end of the day, we got to keep. I mean, we all have families and we we all have a have a life too, and we're not uh, we're not kamikaze pilots by any <laughs> means. We're we're race car drivers, and uh, we want the racetracks to be as safe as they can possibly be for us to race on. They'll they'll never be 100% safe. Okay, uh, you got to figure when we're back in the day. I hate to keep saying that, but you know, all we had was a a seat belt and a roll bar and a helmet. That that was the only safety feature there was. Right. And since then, things have happened. Uh, NASCAR keeps upgrading their safety deal and every year there's something a little bit better a little bit better a little bit better uh but most of the time you got to figure every year we run a little faster too okay yeah. so everything's coming up quicker and uh like he says if if there's a place on the racetrack nobody's hit some of these days somebody's gonna get there right right and uh so uh, again you can't never make it 100 percent safe but that, that's one thing that the fans might like to see wrecks but they don't like to see nobody get hurt yeah that's okay true. and uh, i think we're in the same deal Richard, you made headlines uh, this week for saying you stay away from social media. That is not your thing. You said you, do, do you, ha you have a phone, right? No. No, you don't, don't even have, have a phone. phone. No. I got one at home. <laughs> <laughs> I got one at home, and I got a list of num numbers. You know, and then you, like on the TV or anyhow, the call wait or whatever it is will come up. And if you're not on that list, I don't know. That's <laughs> I mean, you know, I just, just uh, never got into that stuff. Uh, if, I've been watching TV and the satellite, and it messes up and stuff. I'll just call one of the grandkids and tell them what's on the screen. They tell me what button to punch, and it's <laughs> easier that way. <laughs> hey, one thing we do know you guys like is bacon. 
That's right. Right? Bacon, and bacon. When, when, who, he, when well, we, who doesn't? <laughs> first that's of true. All. When we heard there was a bacon eating contest, we heard you were in it. I said, there's no way he's eating a bunch of bacon before the race. So what's going on today? <laughs> well, look yeah. at you. You're so trim and fit, Eric. I know, Come on. You don't I eat too bacon much that bacon. often. Well, it's, it's healthy bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Is it no, turkey bacon? No, it's, uh, no, it's, it's pork bacon. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we're having a bacon eating contest, and me and the king usually go out. Uh, we have them just about at every racetrack. And uh, Smithfield does a great job putting on these events, and they have uh, random fans that want to join and, and do a do a bacon eating contest. They got uh, usually five minutes to see who can eat the most bacon. But today's a special day. We got uh, we got a, uh, a man named uh, Matt Stoney, and he's going to try and break the world record for eating the most amount of bacon in five minutes. He's going to try and eat between 250 and 300 slices of Smithfield bacon oh, how many in five pounds minutes. Is that? So, oh my gosh, I, I can't wait That's to see it. That's a couple of pigs. <laughs> yeah, guys, I hope yeah. you guys have a defibrillator on hand just yeah. in case. Right? I All I, I know is I want to get it. in on that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to see if I can beat it. He's just happy. He's yeah. just lucky it's good bacon by Smithfield. <laughs> so, uh, so at least it'll taste good going down. I don't know how it'll taste coming up. Oh, you had to go there, Eric. Yeah. I had, had to, to go, go there. there. Well, guys, I know you got a lot going on today. Thanks so much for joining us okay. today. I mean, the fans love you, obviously. Hey, thank you all. Hey, thanks, Eric. Good to see you guys. Good stuff. We really appreciate nice you guys. Thank you. <laughs> yes, all right. Thanks. Okay. Let's